Chuck Harstenson Remax results with a home buyer tip and in this video I'm explaining the difference from a rent to own to contract for deed. I'm getting a lot of questions perhaps with the new year uh, people want to get into a house but their financial situation isn't in a spot where they can get a mortgage so if that's you you might think oh what's a rent to own compared to contract for deed and there's a lot of confusion the best and simplest way I can explain this is a contract for deed you're actually purchasing a home and closing on it but because of that the seller is going to want more for a down payment typically 10 to 20 percent or even more of the purchase price so if the home was 200,000 10 percent of that would be twenty thousand dollars down so you gotta have a lot of money down if you're buying a contract for deed so that's one difference where rent to own is really you're just renting the home with the option or the agreement that you're going to be purchasing the home in one, two, three years. Meaning that the seller's probably going to take a slightly higher deposit. Maybe instead of getting your first month and your last month in a damage deposit fee, they might take a little bit more, maybe five, six, seven thousand dollars deposit. Some of that would be non refundable, but you can agree that that's a lot less down than $20,000. However, you're not owning the house, you're just renting it, you get behind on your rental payment, and they can you know, evict you pretty quickly. Now, in a contract for deed, it doesn't take long for a seller to remove you. So, one main difference is that down payment amount. The other difference is, with a contract for deed, you're owning it, you are maybe paying down the payment. On a rent-to-own, you may or may not be paying down the payment, depending on your agreement with the homeowner. So, if you were getting some amount of that rent credited towards the payment, you would have to actually have that in writing with the owner. Also, on a contract for deed, you've purchased it. The price is final. On a rent to own, the price may be flexible. You may agree that, well, in two years we're purchasing it for this price, but maybe the market changes too much and that price doesn't work. Maybe the seller wants more. Maybe the seller can't sell it for that much because it doesn't appraise for that much. It's it's a little bit tricky with the rent to own. There may be more restrictions because you're not officially the owner of it. So again, the main difference is the down payment. The other difference is how the contract's written for maybe paying down that amount of the loan. And with the owner still owning it on a rent to own, you, you might not have as many rights. You might not be able to have pets compared to a contract for deed where you own it, you can have pets. So those are some examples of the rent to own versus contract for deed. Chuck Harstenson, Remax Results. If you're looking for a contract for deed or a rent to own property, you can contact me. I'm happy to try to help you. Um, and we can go from there. Thank you.